Violence, as if to purge their souls of the hatred that blighted them. I have set up the next ranking fight. Where are you? I don't care who the fuck it is. Just give me someone to fight. You sound passionate. What's gotten into you? Someone killed Bishop! I understand. Wait for me at Burger Suplex.
go! You mean your best friend? The shopkeeper? Sylvia, I want to make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings, fight whoever it takes. And in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personal. It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference really. The mastermind behind Bishop's death is the owner of Pizza Bat. This building? Most of this city? He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Jr. owns that hotel, too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. Just sit back, Sylvia. And watch the hell I'm gonna raise. He was the leader of a religious cult. Taking advantage of people's sorrows, he used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that drove him? 